So today is, I think, June the 6th, two th or the 5th, 2019. And um, I just saw an email from the second that I got a subscriber. Her name is Mia. And I don't know if I have any other subscribers. I'm real new at this. And um, we'll see how it goes. I'm just uh, getting on today because I wanted to share my lock progress. I started... December 26, 2018, so that's uh, January, March, April, May, June, six months in, and uh, it really locked at one month, it's doing pretty good, got some thick ones here, it's basically semi-free form, I guess you would say, I haven't done any twisting or anything, I have combined a couple of them, like this one is together, and there's a few others in there like this that are together because they were getting thin. I was messing with it a lot trying to unhook them because they were sticking together at the roots and I started cutting them loose. But uh, I'm not doing that as much now because I think I made some of the bases too too thin. But like this is a really thick one here and I wanted them to stay thick but if I keep messing with it they get thinner so I'm going to try to leave them alone. I haven't counted them or anything like that. Um, this one here and this side as well is how long my hair was before I started locking and then they just shrunk up to this so they don't stretch anymore but that's fine not worried about it I'm letting this part stay here in the middle pretty much so it probably will grow and hang down this way but I kind of wanted them to stay up ouch <laughs> stay sticking up but they kind of started to fall really early, and then when they do stick up, they don't really have any kind of shape or anything. I just got out the bed, so that's why they look like this. But um, I'm enjoying making these videos. I haven't done one very often. I'm not doing them really often, just whenever I feel like it and if I felt like I had something to say. So today I wanted to share also that I put on a few pounds because I'm not teaching yoga right now. That's my normal way of making a living, my job, my profession, my passion. I've been teaching for about 25, 26 years, and I'm not doing it right now. So I have been going to the gym, going to Zumba, taking some hikes, walking, stuff like that. But I've also been eating a whole lot, and I've put on some weight. So uh, I've cut back in the last two to three days. <laughs> in my mind, it's been two or three months that I've cut back, but really just really starting about two days ago. So right now I'm drinking this concoction that I just made. Ah, shit! <laughs> I just wasted it. Dag on it. Ay. Well, I guess I won't do that again. It has, um, <laughs> some turmeric, um, oregano leaf. Regular oregano from the herb store, you know, grocery store that you would normally buy. I, um, what did I do with that? I boiled it gently for a moment and let it steep. There's some black pepper in there, some cinnamon a little bit, some cayenne pepper, some vinegar, a little bit of olive oil, some chia seeds and water, of course, and a little bit of honey. And um, the oregano is for parasites. The chia seeds is for bulk or rough or fiber to get out any waste that may be in there still. I'm not eating a whole lot of food, but I have been eating late at night, so last night I had a salad and a couple pieces of bread. Just little tiny pieces of bread, just little pieces that were uh, crusty pieces of bread, uh, crunchy, um, whatever, hard. <laughs> and I ate that really late at night, but prior to that, yesterday I had a banana smoothie that I made, which was bananas, cinnamon, uh, some ice, some honey, some water, coconut water, not a whole lot in that smoothie, oh, peanut butter, and then later in the day, I had water, mm, not too much yesterday, and then I was hungry, so I ate that salad last night, and then this morning, I got up and made this tonic, I'm gonna call it, chia seeds, oregano, honey, like I said, ah, look at that, and I'm gonna enjoy that for now, and then I'll probably have another banana smoothie or watermelon smoothie if you want to call it that. It's just watermelon with ice and 
honey and a little bit of cinnamon for the watermelon smoothie with the bananas. Bananas, um, like I said, uh, I'll put some chia seeds in that one as well. Peanut butter, honey, ice. I don't have a lot of my stuff because I'm in the process of moving. Most of my things are somewhere else, so I don't have all my ingredients. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to check in with y'all and let you know what's up with me. And hopefully somebody will see this video, contact me, uh, and just communicate with me and let me know what you think. My name is Ananda, and I am 55. I'll be 56 this year. I have two um, grandchildren, a daughter that's 37, and I really feel like I could take a few years off of the way that I look. Not saying I look old, but if I was to really get into the things that I know as far as um, being still and listening to what spirit has to share with me as far as my diet and my body is concerned, ooh, I'd be uh, looking like I was 26. Hee <laughs> hee. All right, holla. Catch up with you soon. Peace. Be well.